I'm getting old as hell. Not old as hell, but I'm pretty old. 34. And my body doesn't react to pain as it did when I was 15, 16. What do I mean by that? Stretching isn't even a question now. I have to stretch before and after I skate. After I'm done skating, like recovery sucks, dude. It lasts forever. Pain is just there for days. I'd say the biggest thing that I noticed when I started skating was even if I didn't fall a lot, my freaking heels just hurt. The bottoms of my feet hurt, my heels hurt, my toes, everything. So I had to make a change. I have a full-time job, I have a family to take care of, I can't risk being injured anymore. So I have to take all measures to make sure that doesn't happen uh, besides putting a helmet on. I don't think I'll ever do that. That's where these come in. FP insoles. I got the game changers right there. Instant custom ortho orthotics. What that means is you gotta bake these in the oven, wear them for about five minutes to kind of break them in and it molds to your foot. Now, I'm sure if you guys are looking FP up or FP insoles, you've seen all the videos of people dropping bowling balls, you name it on them and they absorb a lot of shock. So not gonna get into that, but I'm just gonna go through how I get these set up. Let's get this opened up. So we get two insoles. And I'm assuming these are, those are like little heel cups that you put on the bottom. Now, by moving these right there, they're pretty solid. It's a little pliable and that's why we have to put it in the oven. Thing that you can do as well too is if you have to shape this to your shoe, you can trim off any of the sides. Just don't go past this. Or sorry, this right here. You don't wanna go past the stitches. But first, I need to get my oven. Molding instruction, I need to preheat oven to 235 or 110 degrees Celsius. Place insoles inside for eight minutes. Put in shoes, walk, make sure to wear socks. Oven, these, let's go. We are gonna go to 200, it said 235. I'm assuming that's probably close. And then we're just gonna turn this on for, boom. That's in the oven, I got eight minutes. I guess I can try to land as many tricks as I can in eight minutes. Okay, that freaked me out. I don't know if my mic picked that up, but my door just opened up on its own. And I have to go check and see, because there's nobody home besides me right now. On to the video. Eight minutes to land whatever I can starts now. This is a 360 foot video all over again. Minute left. Now that I'm breathing so hard, let's take these out. 
all these feel, look at that's so flimsy now. So now, we throw them in there and we go on a walk for five minutes. Ooh, that is so long on my feet. So now it's recommended I walk in them until they feel comfortable. They're really warm and toasty right now. It's really hot in Seattle right now. I think my neighbor just witnessed my freaking sweet, sweet cartwheel. Right there. It's been about five minutes, and one thing I will say, like, you know, I like vulcanized shoes because I have board feel, and even with these insoles, I can, I, I can still feel the ground. Like, let me hop in my board. Like, I definitely still have board feel. That was one thing I was worried. I was worried about that getting uh, like thick insoles. Was worried that I would lose that board feel, but I can still feel the board very well when I'm trying to set my feet. And uh, yeah, let's go over what I had before these. Before these insoles, this is what I was working with. Look how thin that is. That's super pliable. Like that's not protecting anything. And that's this is 100% why <laughs> why my heels and my feet were just hurt because. The insoles that come with these shoes and not just adidas like a lot of shoes unless they're cup sole and they're made for you know hucking down 20 stairs most of the time if you're getting volk shoes the insoles are just gonna be super thin for all you older skaters out there right that are getting back into it or just trying to get into it i hope this helps out for the younger generation i hope this helps out and prolong your skateboarding career but anyways, you guys have a wonderful night, day, morning, whatever time you are in right now in the world, okay? And peace.